The study examines the relationship between redlining and present-day summertime interurban land surface temperature anomalies in 108 urban areas across the United States. The results reveal that 94% of studied areas display consistent city-scale patterns of elevated land surface temperatures in formerly redlined areas relative to their non-redlined neighbors by as much as 7 c. Regionally, southeast and western cities display the greatest differences while midwest cities display the least. Land surface temperatures in redlined areas are approximately 2.6 c warmer than in non-redlined areas. The study suggests that historical housing policies may be directly responsible for disproportionate exposure to current heat events. This article was authored by Jeremy S. Hoffman, Vivek Shandas, and Nicholas Pendleton. We are article.tv, links in the description below.